Hello, and this is Rob again from Boost CTR, and welcome to our Win of the Week. This weekly series demonstrates how BoostCTR.com can be used to improve your AdWords performance, and it's produced exclusively for PerryMarshall.com. This week, we're going to show you how the addition of one word can improve performance by 32%. So let's get to it. So what we're looking at here are two different ads. Uh, they differ in a couple of different ways, uh, but primarily we're going to focus on the title, which is where we think the biggest improvement came from. Uh, you will notice in the title that we added the word code uh, versus not having code in the other ad, and that refers to the specific HTML uh, and JavaScript that uh, this particular ad is trying to sell. This is from an affiliate, uh, popupgenerator.com. Uh, the keywords here, pop-up generator, pop-up maker, pop-up code, uh, and you'll see in fact pop-up generator uh, matches uh, the pop-up generator ad exactly, uh, and then we have uh, the pop-up generator code, which doesn't really match any of the keywords, um, but it turns out to be uh, better. So let's take a look. So we're looking at the Boost CTR platform here where we do all of our testing, uh, and you'll see we have on the right-hand side the code version of the ad. 4.5% 4.58% click through rate it won by about 32% uh, increase in click through rate um, the reason we think this happened is that if you look at the keywords we had those keywords that were pop-up generator pop-up code and what we've really done here is we've matched the keywords to the desire of the person that's searching um, so most people who are looking for a pop-up generator it's not like something you go get off the shelf and, and you, you, know, you put in your pocket. Um, it's not a physical thing, it's actually code. And so most people are looking for the code. And for those of you out there who have searched for code before, which is probably most of you, anyone that's ever done HTML is always searching for an example of something, um, you, you find that there's always a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff that comes in the search that's not very helpful. But when you start looking for specific code, uh, and using that word, it tends to return a lot better results. Um, and so what we've done here is we've matched uh, with uh, what people are really looking for. And that's where we got our uh, we got our big improvement. You will notice there's a few other things. Guaranteed not to be stopped um, is in both ads, uh, although it's been flipped a little bit. You'll also notice another thing in the uh, winning ad is that we really wrote one sentence. We didn't break it up into two lines. It's guaranteed not to be stopped by pop-up blockers, customizable. Um, so we really uh, kind of tell you um, what it's guaranteed not to be stopped by, uh, as opposed to the other ad that uh, that doesn't really say that. Although it does say guaranteed not to be stopped, it's not as it's not as clear. But we do think the the big difference here is the code. But this does lead us to to further tests um, that we could uh, we could use. Not all tests have to be radical. Sometimes tests are subtle, rearranging things um, and uh, and taking a winner and trying to to take some of the things that you might think the losing ad might may be doing better uh, and trying to incorporate those back into a winner. So this was this was a pretty good win at 32 percent. Thank you for joining us this week on the Boost CTR Win of the Week. Next week, we're going to be looking at latest version and how those two words can help improve your performance, uh, especially if you're selling software on the Internet. Please visit perrymarshall.com to learn more, as well as boostctr.com to learn more about the Boost CTR testing platform. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.